All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Arakakwadash. I would like to give a double honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. I would like to say a sincere Shalom to the hopeful elect scattered through all the four winds of the world. All right, this is going to be a quick lesson entitled, Keep Your Eyes on the Prize. And the prize is the kingdom of heaven. All right, and the closer we closer we get, as you see prophecy coming to pass, you see the mark of the beast. Uh, uh, soon to be made mandatory. You see all these prophecies come, you know, taking place. All right, World War Three. keep your eye on the prize, all right? We ain't in the kingdom yet, all right? We haven't been saved yet. We haven't been redeemed. Lord willing, I'm a part of the elect and, and, and the brothers that push the doctrine and the, uh, uh, the, the sincere believers in this truth, okay? But you got to keep your eyes on the prize. You can't be get distracted by all the BS that's going around around us, okay? You can't, you know, it's going to be... Uh, 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 um, people that's going to try to come and debunk the truth. It's going to be many people that come against this truth. And you got to stand firm for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai at the end of the day. All right. And those that's going to stand firm for his word and his doctrine are, are those that's essentially going to be delivered out of the, uh, the calamities that are to come here in America or other parts of the world. All right. So let me get it right into the scripture. The first scripture I want to grab is Matthew 6 and 19. Lay not up yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt where thieves break through and steal. But lay yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust nor doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal. For where your treasure is, so where your heart be also. The light of the body is the eye. If therefore thy eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. And that light is this truth. That light is the most high opening up your mind to this knowledge and wisdom and understanding. Your eye has to be single. Your eye has to be so solely on this truth. Yes, we have the responsibilities that we have to take care of in the world, but the truth should be first and foremost in your mind, in your heart, okay? He said, lay your treasures up in heaven. Don't lay your treasures up upon here on earth. Don't put your, your, your time and your effort into this worldly thing that is just gonna be destroyed by the missiles. Lay your treasures up in the heaven where, where, where a nigga ain't gonna rob the most high. OK, uh, uh, you know, you have to lay your treasures, your works, your faith. OK, ultimately. All right. Um, let's see. I want to jump down to verse thirty three. It says, but seek ye the first, the kingdom of the most high and his righteousness. And these things shall be added unto you. You should be seeking the heaven. You can excuse me. You should be seeking the kingdom of heaven. All right. That's the prize. That's the that's the prize at the end of this race. All right. And the closer and closer we get to the end, you're going to see. Um, people fall out. You're going to see people bug out. All right. The devil would like the devil would love to just to 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 pull you out of the truth. All right. To to you at the finish line and you, you see the finish line and the devil would love nothing more but then to trip you up. All right. To 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 cast a stumbling block amongst you. OK. Um, next scripture I want to grab is the book of. First Corinthians, it's a lot, yeah. Get this. First Corinthians chapter nine, and I'm going to start at verse twenty-four. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so that ye may obtain that every man striving for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown but we an incorruptible crown, all right? So if your eyes are on the things of this of this world, you're seeking a, a corruptible crown, all right? Going back to the scripture I previously read that where, th where thieves can come in and steal, all right? You're laying yourselves up uh, money and, and worldly things, uh, 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 trying to invest and build businesses, and, that, and ultimately that's your prize, all right? The scripture says, I believe it's in Luke, that um, uh, you've received your consolation. All right. I don't want the consolation. I want the, uh, the, the 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 prize. I want the kingdom of heaven. All right. That's what that's what I'm striving for. OK. And I'm striving to finish my race. I'm trying to finish my course. All right. I don't want to get to the end of the finish line. I don't want to get to the, the fourth quarter to the and, and gas out. All right. And give up the lead. And, 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 and um, you know, um, and, 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 and not receive salvation. OK. Next scripture I want to get, I want, actually, I'm going to get it in the, uh, 
in the uh, blue letter because I want to pull a word, a few words from it. Uh, this is First Peter 5 and 8. Be ye sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh seeking, seeking whom he may devour. And this devil is is this devil is working heavy right now. All right, so you got to stay focused. You you got to be circumspect. All right, you got to know, uh, uh, um, you know, you got to use wisdom in everything you do. All right, the simplest things you have to use wisdom because the devil the devil is trying to trip you up any and every way he can. All right, so I want to get this word uh, sober in the um, in the blue letter. Get this thing would hurry up. Um, sober, nepho. It means, and you know, you read this, you think it's talking about um, uh, 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 alcohol. No, it says to be sober, to be calm and collected in spirit. You got to rule over your spirit these last days. You can't use, you can't react on impulse, especially with uh, these race impending race riots that are going to take place. All right. You got people, uh, uh, um, you know, all up in arms and, and, and it's going to be civil unrest. You got to calm. You got to be sober. You have to control your spirit. All right. It says collected in spirit to be temperate, uh, di dispassionate, circumspect. And that's going to bring me to another scripture I want to grab um, in, in, in Ephesians. Or I want to grab another word in here um, and is uh, vigilant. Which is to watch, all right? And, and that word to watch goes back to the word circumspect. Uh, give strict attention, be cautious, active. All right, you gotta be, you gotta, your eyes gotta be on that prize. Once you have your eyes on that prize, you see everything around you. You, 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 you'll see everything with a spiritual eye. All right, but if your eye is wandering, your eyes is on, you know, uh, uh, trying to get some money or, or, or trying to impress some woman or, or anything other than the, the, these prophecies, you, you're gonna be, you're gonna be led astray. All right, you're gonna be led into the Broadway. All right. Let me grab this. I got a few more scripts. Um, I said I want to grab that scripture in Ephesians 5 and verse um, 15. Um, I'll start at 14. Wherefore, wherefore he saith, awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead and Hamashiach shall give thee light. See that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, being on your watch at all times. Okay? Being alert at all times. All right. Keeping your eye on the prize at all times, redeeming the time because the days are evil. and We're coming into some evil, evil days where this devil Esau is coming down with great wrath because he know that he had but a short time uh, 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 reciting or pursuing to uh, Revelations 12 and 12. OK, redeeming the times because the days are evil. With this election popping off, you're going to have civil unrest. You're going to have uh, people. It's going to be mass confusion out there. And if you and if you're not your eyes not on the prize, you're going to be confused with the masses. All right. You're going to be bugged out with them. OK. Last scripture I want to grab is the book of Philippians, chapter um, three and verse 14. I pressed. Actually, let me see. Hey, I read 14. I press toward the mark of the prize. And that mark is, is, is a mark of exemption. All right, not the mark of the beast. It's a mark of exemption, a mark that is uh, um, that is spoken of in Ezekiel the ninth chapter. All right, so you can so you can be you have the the uh, the name of the Father and His Son written in you. Okay, so I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling of the Most High in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. All right, and you got to press towards that mark. All right, you got to press towards that that receiving that that ultimate prize. You got to keep your eyes on the prize. All right. So um, that's really all I had. I was like I said, I wanted to make this short, but it was something on that was on my spirit that I wanted to, you know, uh, 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 bring out. And, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect. And I would like to give all praise, glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Yahweh Kakwadash, that will honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. Shalom.